What makes morals and dogma so infamous? Well, I'll tell you why specifically. He mentions and he talks very symbolically and figuratively in the book. And a lot of people who are against Freemasonry focus on really one specific passage in this book. The little cherry picking statement that they take out to try to be against Freemasonry. In my version, it's on page 321 under the Grand Pontiff section. And the sentence just prior to him talking about Lucifer is this. The apocalypse is to those who receive the 19th degree, the apotheosis, the highest point of that sublime faith which aspires to God alone and despises all the pomps and works of Lucifer. Then he goes into the next sentence, which most of the anti-Masons pull out and says, Lucifer, the light bearer, strange and mysterious name to give to the spirit of darkness. And then explains why that would be. Because he says that the way he's using Lucifer is that it's so bright that it blinds the feeble-minded. Okay. So if you read the whole thing, read the sentence before the sentence you want to use in your anti-Masonic pamphlet. Read the sentence before that. Okay. And you'll understand what Albert Pike's talking about. So I think the reason it's infamous is because it's been used by people who are against Freemasonry to cherry pick what they want to use as evidence to support their narrative that Freemasonry is nefarious. Okay. And it's not.